What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and you're always asking me about how I style my hair, how I blow dry my hair, especially now that it's longer, right? So I am going to be going over everything today, how I blow dry my hair, how I style it, because obviously it's a lot harder now than it was when it was shorter. Welcome to my little bathroom here where um, I do my hair pretty much every day. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I need, what you guys are going to need to do your hair. Basically, very basic tools. We are going to need a brush. Now this is a boar bristle round brush which is one of my favorites because it gives your hair a nice shine. You're gonna need some type of oil to protect your hair against the heat from the blow dryer as well as making it shiny and smooth and of course you're gonna need a blow dryer and this one is the Panasonic Nano E EH NA 67W this thing is an absolute beast Panasonic was kind enough to sponsor today's video so let me show you how this thing works in just a second and of course you're gonna need some styling products I'm gonna be using a very light hold cream as well as a texture spray so let's get to it all right first things first Let's get some oil into our palms and then into our ends. This oil is going to help out against frizz. It's going to make your hair super smooth. I always apply some type of heat protectant and some type of oil to my hair before I blow dry. Next up, grab your blow dryer. The Nano E hair dryer has everything you need. The off button, low and high right here for the speed. And then when you flip it over, you have cool, warm and hot. But one of the coolest things about this blow dryer, and it's something that I've never seen in any other blow dryer that I cannot wait to show you guys, is this oscillating attachment here. So what this does is when you turn it on, it's going to oscillate from side to side, making it so that you don't have a lot of heat going into one place only, so you don't overheat your hair, you don't over dry it. You know, a lot of people fry their hair because they're just overly blow drying that same spot. This one is going to oscillate. Grab your boar bristle brush, and the Panasonic Nano E hair dryer. And what you're gonna be doing here, it depends on the style that you want. For me, what I like to do is pull my hair up. That gets rid of the waves, that gets rid of any you know, curls that I have, anything that's stubborn and puts it exactly where I want it. Let me show you how it's done. So first things first, I always blow dry my hair on high and then on hot. That's gonna blow dry it the quickest. Now, the downside to that is that obviously you're putting a lot of heat on your hair, like I said, you can definitely fry your hair. And that is where the oscillating nozzle comes in super handy because that takes the heat away from the same exact location on your hair and moves it from side to side so that you're not frying your hair and removing all of the moisture from it. What I'm gonna do here first is remove the excess water from my hair with just my fingers, just trying to get my hair to not be so wet. And then I'm gonna come in with the brush and twist it on my hair you can see that i'm kind of pulling it up as i blow dry it and the reason i do that is so that it adds a volume and shape to my hair it straightens it so if you guys want to add curls you're not going to do this right you're going to use a diffuser which by the way the panasonic nano e hair dryer comes with a diffuser and it comes with a concentrator nozzle as well so that you can use those attachments if you don't want to use the oscillating nozzle the hair dryer is designed for both men and women and it has this patent nano e technology now what is that basically the technology draws moisture from the air to create tiny little moisture rich particles that are small enough to penetrate your hair shafts. Now these particles are almost a thousand times more moisture packed than the general negative ions used by most modern day hair dryers. So this is super legit. The extra moisture provided by the nano -E technology is going to help protect your hair against damage from everyday styling and brushing while also enhancing that smoothness and shine that you want in your hair. On the sides, what I'm going to do here is because my hair is so long and poofy and I have so much hair, I basically just brush it right up against my scalp on the sides, slicking it back with the brush and the hair dryer. That's going to keep it from being too poofy. So my hair is not fully dry yet, but it's almost there, right? There's shape. You can see that it's kind of like straight up here. There's a few curls right there that I'm going to try to get rid of. But back here, I actually really enjoy that look. I actually try to enhance the waves with, well, that's my necklace, with the brush. And I just twist it that way so that it, the hair comes out that way towards the shoulder. And then the same thing on this side, twist the brush and out that way. So it creates this kind of look, this fullness in the back. 
All right, let's get it going. So on the sides, I am going to pull the hair just like I did up top and then just kind of flatten it out, get rid of those stubborn curls and shape it properly so that it's not coming down all the time. That's the problem with long hair. You know, it's hard to maintain the shape all day long, but that's what we're trying to do here. It starts with the blow drying process. On the sides, I'm just gonna brush it out to give me those nice waves in the back to make it come out like a lion. Uh, that's kind of the look that I've been going for. The problem with the amount of hair that I have in the back here is that that's definitely the, the place that takes the longest for me to dry it out. So, you know, usually my top and sides are dry, but my back is still a little bit damp. So I blow dry that as much as possible using my fingers to maintain the waves and the curls without straightening out too much. Otherwise my hair is gonna come down to my back and that's too long. All right, now my hair is completely dry. It took me between five and seven minutes and I have a lot of hair, so don't be lazy. All right, you can do it. If I can do it, if I can be patient to do it for five to seven minutes, you can do it with your short hair. Probably gonna take you like three minutes, no joke. So now you can see that I already have the shape that I want. It's going in the direction that I want it to be in when, I, you know, when I'm done with this. What I'm gonna do now is add some products to keep it this way because otherwise it's just gonna flop everywhere, as well as add a little bit of volume and some texture as well. So I'm gonna go in with some hair styling cream, which has nice light hold, which I don't need a lot of hold, so this is perfect. I mean, basically what I'm trying to do is get my hair to be a little bit more flat on the side here because I don't want it to be too poofy. I have a lot of hair and it gets too poofy. So I try to fix my sideburns, make sure that they're not going crazy. Same on this side, fix the sideburns. Push my hair in behind my ear because that gets rid of all of that poofiness and then let the hair fall here on this side. Now, there's so many ways that you can style this hair, uh, this hair cut, let's say. You can go with an asymmetric part, kind of like I have here now, All right? So it's not necessarily a middle part, it's asymmetric. You just kind of keep it there. That looks pretty good. You can go with a full middle part if you want. I like to kind of brush my hair back and then just part it in the middle. Middle part. Or you can go for a side swept look, look which is this right here, which I really like. I like this hairstyle a lot. Super cool, you have the clean, you know, side right there. And then you have the kind of like messy side, which is cool. You know, all of a sudden, if you take a photo like this, it looks one way. If you take a photo like this, it's a different way. Take a photo like that, it looks different. So it adds a lot of dimension. It adds a lot of character to, to your hairstyle, right? I really like this look. And it's probably the easiest one because you can just go like that and it stays, you know, it's pretty damn easy. So I think I'm gonna end up going with the middle part today. It's just looking good that way. What I'm gonna do to keep it in its place is apply a little bit of texture spray. It's got a little bit of hold, adds a boost of texture. And man, my hair feels so nice. That blow dryer made my hair feel so nice, way more moisturized. I feel like I didn't lose a lot of moisture from blow drying with the oscillating uh, nozzle, so all right. Guys, let me know what you think of this hairstyle in the comment section down below and whether or not you have any questions about blow drying to make sure that I can answer them for you. And of course, the first link in the description here is the link to the Panasonic Nano E hair dryer. Make sure to go check them out. And you can find me on TikTok, Instagram. It's all at Alex Costa. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.